just added my third drive to my new Media Smart server EX485. I click on Disk Management tab. You can see that it says attention required because it's not connected yet. You can actually see here because of the temperature that it's not even running. We have 43 and we have 42 degrees here. I've been uploading a lot of files on my new server so you can see that it shows the temp here. Now you can right mouse click and go to add. You can find out information about the display name, details. For example, clicking on details show you the serial number, other pertinent information about your drive. If you do click on add, it will redirect you back to the server storage. So we're going to go through and do this, but again, typically you would want to go right to the server storage, which is here, and click on add. So I'm going to walk you through. So disk management, right mouse click, click on add. Okay. It's going to add the disk. Click on next. You can see it says that it's successfully marked to go through the server storage tab. I'm not going to show this again. I'll click on finish, and it'll redirect us back to the drive space. At this point, I'm going to right mouse click on add and go through the standard wizard. I'm going to add this to the pool, which is the top button. If you wanted to use this just as backup only, you would leave it as use this hard drive to backup files that are stored on your home server. But again, this wants to be part of my pool. I haven't even started to put my major amount of data on here. You can see I will fill this up rather quickly. I click on next. It's saying it will finish and erase any data. Again, don't put a used drive or another drive in here unless you're prepared to have the data erased. And I click on finish. It'll now go through, format the hard drive, and add it to the storage pool. Okay, it's now done. It took less than a minute. And you can see now that I have my two drives, my Black Caviar Western Digital 1 terabyte second terabyte, and then my original 750. So now I have 2.5 terabytes of data. Going back to the disk management tab, you can see that I have disk 0, which is the original disk, disk 1, and disk 2. Now within each one of these, you actually can sort it by the different category types that are listed up here. Or you can click on the storage details for each one. So if I click on disk 1, for example, I go to storage details and this gives me all of the information. Instead of going back to server hard disks and check selecting another one, I can just use the drop down list and switch between each one. So my starting drive, the 750 that was listed in here, you can see it has volume C and D, C being system, D being the folder shares, serial number, and you can see that my temperature, how it's running, and the interface. In addition, you can also see the storage amounts. I have data and I have backups. Currently right now, my data, I have about 90 gigabytes worth of movies from last night. I have about 15 of music, and I have about 10 of pictures so far. I go to my WDC, my second drive. You can see here it's listed as backups, because I just ran a backup on one of my other laptops, and on the drive that I just added, which has no space to use yet. In this video, I'm going to show you how to begin the wireframe setup for a standard EX485. It says click here to begin the wireframe setup, which I do. I'm going to create a new wireframe. So I'll click on Create New. Okay, now I have Add New Drive Bay, Edit Selected Drive Bay, or Remove Selected Drive Bay. I'm going to click on Add New Drive Bay. Drive Bay Type, 3.5 inch Drive Bay. Use the arrow key, go forward. You can see that I have it there ready to go. I have a drive path. Now I have the three drives that are listed here. So I can just click on one of the drives. You can see here that it shows the disk data here. And I know which disk is which from how I put them in. So I can see that that's my first disk on the lowest one, which is where your Windows Home Server will be. You can put a name if you want. Click on Next. Now I've got my drive bay down at the bottom. I'm going to add another one. So I'm going to click on the arrow. Three and a half inch drive bay. OK, 
Okay, position relative to, it's going to be above. Okay, you can see above. Drive path, now I only have two left, right? Because I had three and I already did one. So now I'm gonna use the second one. Work my way through. Not gonna put any name or text at this point because I don't care. Now I'm there. Now I'm gonna add my third drive bay. So I'm gonna add new drive bay. Click on the arrow. It's going to be a three and a half inch drive bay. Position relative, now choose the one. I'm clicking on it and then choose above. My drive path, I only have one drive left out of the three. Click on that and I will go through. Now I am gonna add one more drive bay because I do have that other drive bay up there. So I'm gonna add new, three and a half inch drive bay. Click the top one, position above. You can put them on the side or if you wanna do it. Now this is an empty drive bay, so I'm just clicking on empty for now because it's not going to have anything in it for quite some time. And there we go. So there is my server wireframe. I click on OK, and now here is my drive. Now, why would you want to do this? Let me show you what happens. When you click on Apply and you click on OK, the drive bays now show up. And as you click each one of these, you can see which drive you're looking at. So you can see that I have the first drive that I installed that came with a machine, the second drive that I added, and my third drive. And when eventually I end up with disk three, it will show up here at the top. And you can click back and forth on any one of these. Previous video, I showed you how to edit a wireframe, but you can notice here it kind of looks a little boring, and I'd like to be able to add to it. So one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Settings, and I'm going to go to Disk Management, and you can see here that I want to edit my current wireframe. And once I click on Edit, I can go through and do what I need to do for adding additional bays or making changes. But I can also go into Advanced Mode. When I click on Advanced Mode and click on the arrow, you can see here that I can actually change the position and the rotation of my drive. You can see that I can move one drive one way or the other. I can also change the position of a drive one way or the other. So if you wanted to go through and make changes to how your drive looks or how your drive feels, you can do that within the advanced mode. And as you go through each one of these, you can actually change the size and the position of each of these as you go through it. In addition, if you want to change the orientation of your wireframe as it's viewed, you can go through and change the X, Y, and Z axis. So you can go through and make changes and go through and see how you want to set it up. Click on Apply, click on OK, and there we have our setup. Once you have all of your disks in place and you have your wireframe built, then you can go through and modify and make changes. You can see here that my temperature is 42 and 43 because I'm doing some uploads right now and 34 degrees C on my new drive that I just added as it comes up to speed. Typically they run around 36, 37. Now for those of us in America, we may not like the degree C. So what we can do is we can go into settings, which is up here. And in your configuration tab, you can actually show whether it's Fahrenheit or Celsius. In addition, you can also set thresholds to let you know when space utilization is maxed out. So if you wanted to let a warning out when you wanted to have disk space usage or storage pool usage, you can make those changes here. So I will click on Apply and I will click on OK. And you can see now that my temp is listed here. Temps are really important when you're looking at your hard drive also because uh, it will wear down your drive a lot faster if they run hotter. Uh, they vary in temperature, but if you're running constantly above 110 or higher on the drives that I have here, then I know that I may want to look at moving my server somewhere else. As my drive is now coming up to speed and coming up to temperature, you can see here that I have the storage details again of each one of these 
you can see how much of the storage pool total data is 126, backups are 166 for a total of 293, and my total amount is there. Again, you have other information that you can get to in server storage. So if you just wanted a real quick look to see where you're at, you can go to server storage, but I very rarely use that. Everything I do is now through disk management. Server hard disks gives you temperature, gives you activity, and storage details gives you the storage details for each one of your drives. Also included again are the serial numbers and the volume information including folder share information.